they'll be wondering, oh man, I wish I had not followed this person. I had not completely followed this person. <laughs> Influencer betrayal when leaders abandon the followers. In these verses, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is painting a picture, is describing a scene from the hereafter. This will happen on the day of judgment. When those who follow the influencers, they will say, well, you shouldn't have followed us. We have nothing to do with you. And the ones who followed them, they will be in a state of regret. They'll be wondering, oh man, I wish I had not followed this person. I had not completely followed this person. So what do we mean here? What do we learn from here? How do we apply it in our practical lives? Well, think about this. What happens is that when you see someone with a lot of wealth, power, fame, all the jiggles, and then you start thinking, you know what, I'm just going to follow this person blindly in all matters of life. And that is you being a fool. So think about it. If someone is an expert in business or investments or academia or whatever, it is okay to follow them. It is okay to learn from them. And we are not saying don't do that. That is another extreme and that's the wrong thing to do. But at the same time, if someone is an expert in one domain, whether he's a non-Muslim or a Muslim, doesn't matter. If he's an expert and you're learning from them, that's great. But as you learn from them, if they are compromising Islamic principles, if they're going against Islam, you don't blindly follow them. You stop. You know your boundaries. At the same time, if they are an expert in their domain, and now they start commenting on the matters of faith, and the existence of God, and the nature of God, and the nature of revelation of God. And you start following them just because they're an expert in one field doesn't mean that they're expert in all fields. Same thing, you may have a Muslim influencer, a celebrity, an athlete, but many times when they open their mouth, and you have any basic knowledge of Islam, you can see that they have no idea of even the basics of Islam. So yes, you can take their discipline. Yes, you can take their techniques. You, you, can take, you can learn from them on how they develop themselves. But when they're opening their mouth about Islam and they don't have a basic knowledge and you start following them, yes, they are at a wrong here that they are saying stuff that they shouldn't be saying and they will be accountable for it. But you are also a fool. For example, if you start taking investment advice from an athlete, Right? Wouldn't make sense. So be careful and do not be in a state where we have to be regretful on the day of judgment. May Allah protect us.